This is the ABQ Biopark Botanic Garden in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The ABQ Biopark or Albuquerque Biological Park is made up of four separate sections, Tingley Beach, the ABQ Zoo, the ABQ Botanic Garden, and the ABQ Aquarium. In this video, we'll only cover the ABQ Biopark Botanic Garden. Like this video and write a comment. We really do want to hear from you so that we can keep improving our content. Welcome to HipFig. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. This is the Albuquerque, New Mexico Travel Guide series. This episode is the ABQ Biopark Botanic Garden Travel Guide for Visitors to Albuquerque. The ABQ Biopark Botanic Garden is located at 2601 Central Avenue Northwest Albuquerque. We drove our car from I-40 and then took exit 157A for Rio Grande Boulevard and followed the brown signs for Old Town and Zoo to get to the ABQ Biopark Botanic Garden. If you would like to take the public bus, Route 66 and 766 stops at Central and Tingley Drive, just outside the aquarium and garden. Please check at www.cabq.gov slash transit website for detailed information. The Serene ABQ Biopark Botanic Garden has many flora and fauna exhibits, which include Mediterranean and Desert Conservatories, a 1920s farm, Japanese informal gardens, and a bugarium. There's even a live butterfly and bee house. The ABQ Biopark Botanic Garden is located in the area designated as Old Town. There's a lot to do in this part of town, and it's also very popular for locals and tourists alike. We arrived on a warm morning during the weekday, and it was pretty busy. Parking is free at all ABQ facilities, and when we arrived, the parking lot was already full, so make sure to arrive before 10 a.m. After parking our car, we follow the signs past the Shark Reef Cafe to the ticket booth. The ABQ Biopark North Campus is where the Botanic Garden and Aquarium are located. It's open daily from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and closed January 1st, Thanksgiving Day, and December 25th. The entrance fee for the Botanic Garden is $10 per adult for New Mexican residents and $14.50 for non-New Mexican residents. Seniors 65 and over are $5.50 for New Mexican residents and $7.50 for non-residents. Youth 3 to 12 is $5 for residents and $6 for non-residents. Children 2 and under are free. After purchasing our tickets at the ticket booth, we walked into the entrance. The ABQ Biopark Botanic Garden is 36 acres that includes a 10,000 square foot glass conservatory. We began our exploration of the ABQ Biopark Botanic Garden in the walled gardens that were to the right as we entered. We walked past the first set of iron gates to the Spanish Moorish Garden, which we were told is like a typical New Mexican garden. The Moorish style, which originated in the deserts of North Africa, was brought to Spain by the Moors and then to New Mexico by the Spanish. The Spanish Moorish Garden led to a small round garden with raised beds of roses called the Jardin Redondo. Finally, this lovely path led to the ceremonial garden. What a break from the heat! This large shed uh, arbor was filled with clematis, wisteria, and climbing roses, providing a respite from the heat of the sun. We continued our stroll through the brick-lined path to a wide park-like setting. Along the way, there were many benches and small secret gardens to rest and enjoy this botanic garden. Unfortunately for us, when we visited, um, the children's fantasy garden was closed, but you can uh, come here now and it has a 14-foot topiary dragon that guards the castle gates. The garden's entrance is a huge rabbit hole. 
uh, supposedly where six-foot earthworms burrowed through the walls. Well, one of the most picturesque areas is the Dragonfly Sanctuary Pond. The pond area is the first Dragonfly Sanctuary Pond in the United States. The pond's aquatic habitat is perfect for attracting and breeding dragonflies and damselflies. It's also decorated with a streaming of bubbles into the exhibit from a rocky desert landscape and a deck that overlooks the pond. There's also a beautiful mosaic on the north wall of the courtyard. From the pond, we continue taking the path to the glass conservatories. We first went into the desert conservatory with its displays of saguaro cactus and palo verde trees from the Sonoran Desert, yucca from the Chihuahuan Desert, and the elephant trees from Baja. There's also docent-led desert conservatory tours offered on Fridays at 1.30 p.m. throughout the year. Tours uh, will usually meet uh, at the entrance of the conservatory. There's also a lovely patio uh, rest area. We also went into the Mediterranean Conservatory, but there wasn't much there when we visited, so after a quick look, we continued on the path towards the High Desert Rose Garden. When it's hot, I know that roses release their lovely fragrance more, and this was no exception. By the way, this area has a picnic area and restrooms. We continued down the path, past the railroad tracks to the Sasebo Japanese Garden. This is built in honor of one of Albuquerque's sister cities in Japan. The four-acre Sasebo Japanese Garden contains a waterfall, a koi pond, and a mixture of Japanese and local plants. Docent-led garden tours are offered throughout the year depending on volunteer availability. Tours will meet at the entrance to the Japanese Garden. From the Japanese Garden, we meander to the five-acre Cottonwood Gallery, which is located at the north end of the Botanic Garden and through the old-time Rio Grande Heritage Farm. This area showcases the 1930s-era farmstead with a canopy of mature cottonwoods, native trees and bushes, vineyards, crops and orchards, and farm animals. There are also many programs available here, so please check at their website for more information. We continued back to the entrance of the garden to the other side of the Botanic Garden, which led us to the Railroad Garden. There are two 400-foot loops of G-scale brass rails on free-floating tracks that pass by amazing miniature replica villages, bridges, and tunnels. We walked past these little villages and then to the butterfly and bee exhibit. It was full of 40 species of native butterflies and moths, as well as non-stinging native bees and fig beetles. After a long, hot walk in the sun, the Bulgarium was there. I love this place, not only for the bug displays, but also the air conditioning, restrooms, and cool water faucet. The Bulgarium is open Wednesdays through Sundays, and the building will close from 1.30 to 2 p.m. each day for cleaning. This 3,500 square foot building features different insects and other anthropod species from around the world. It took us about three hours to walk through the 1.5 miles of botanic garden paths and the bagarium, so wear good walking shoes, bring water, and wear sunscreen hat to protect you, especially during the summer. The ABQ Biopark Botanic Garden is lovely and highly recommended. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.